Hello there. Twelve years ago, my fiancé sadly committed suicide. And although I don't like to talk about it very much for obvious reasons, I wanted to talk about the aftermath, really. I spent about ten years just being alone because being around other people was, quite frankly, terrifying and horrible. I just wanted to be alone. And over time, I realized I quite enjoy being alone. There are so many reasons why it's better to simply stay alone. Uh, and one of those reasons I want to talk about now is the problem with modern male feminists. Now, in the past, it was kind of rare to see that term, but it's become a trend, and unfortunately, it's become associated with a lot of people who are committing sexual assault, or worse. Uh, so, what is causing this problem? Well, feminism for men tends to be a way of competing with so-called alpha males. If you're not very good at being a traditional man, it may, may seem like a viable option to simply adopt a more feminine aspect, and this is an, a good way of getting in with women. And, you know, it, it, can, it can be positive, it can be, have a positive effect. If you, if you aren't an alpha male, you don't have to be. Uh, you just have to be whatever works for you, whatever makes you happy. If you're in a relationship, whatever works for both you and your partner. Um, unfortunately, what a lot of male feminists do is they sort of uh, engage in a codependent relationship because a lot of male feminists are very insecure and this is why they adopt feminism and it's the same reason why women adopt feminism I mean after all if you are completely secure and confident in yourself you don't have to go around uh, claiming that you're oppressed and a victim because obviously you don't feel like one if you are a confident human being uh, if women are so strong and marvelous then why do you keep saying that they're victims it's Hong Kong clown world sadly so again, back to the male feminists, rather than the problem with the female feminists. We'll get to that, of course. But what they do is they enter into this very codependent relationship where they basically want women to feel incredibly bad about themselves. I mean, uh, look at The Last Jedi and look at the women that they hired. They didn't dress these women up and make them look beautiful, like, uh, what's her name, Kelly Marie Tran. She's not an ugly woman. If you see her on the red carpet, she looks beautiful. She's in a lovely dress, looks very feminine. Fucking put a woman in a potato sack. She's going to look like a fucking potato, and she did. They did terrible hair. Laura Dern looked like a fucking cotton. Well, she looked like a, a caricature. Uh, they gave her horrible fucking slip to wear, gray and horrible, just awful, like, come on, like, wear a quinceañera dress, for Christ's sake, and, like, again, Laura Dern, you see her on the red carpet, black dress, blonde hair, she looks great, Ryan Johnson, male feminist, I don't know you personally, but I'm just gonna, you know, make that assumption, and that's what they do, they want women to feel bad about themselves, because then they can come in, swoop in, you know, put the arm around the shoulders, hey baby, you're not ugly, I love you, I think that you're beautiful just the way you are. You know what makes women feel good, it really? Nice clothes, nice hair, nice makeup, and it's not expensive either, there's great secondhand shops or eBay, there's great little cheap shops, I, I don't have any money, but look, I, I, I get pretty, pretty good, pretty good clothes, you know, like, so eBay, six bucks, and I don't have to pay for underwear because I don't wear any, as I've said before. <laughs> and if you, if you catch some of my uh, sneaky nudie videos before YouTube takes them down. But no, this is what the male feminists do. They are incredibly manipulative, and I don't know if they realize they're doing it. Maybe some of them do. Uh, maybe a lot of them don't. But yeah, they want women to feel ugly. That's why these social justice wars. They want ugly characters in comic books, they want ugly women in movies because they feel insecure and they want to be, they want that, that insecurity to be indulged rather than to have somebody lift them out of it. They want it to be indulged and 
I've seen this, it's, it is, like, social justice warriors, it's a, it's a mental illness, or it's a collection of mental illnesses. They, uh, they indulge their hatred, I mean, look at the way they respond to Trump, it's like, who gives a shit, person you didn't like got in, like, what, you weren't around for fucking George W. Bush, Jesus Christ, give me a break, man. Holy shit, you, you don't remember anything about some of the shit that's gone down with the previous president. Like, oh, what? But, oh, Hillary Clinton, what, Bill Clinton given fucking, what's her name, Monica Lewinsky a bit of head uh, in the Oval Office and spread those legs, get a bit of a blowjob. Like, what? Oh, yeah, but, he, nah, Trump ball is pussy grab. Anyway, but again, that's the female feminist, but that's just social justice warriors in general. Fact that. Back to the male feminists. Yes, they have this tendency, like they just like, oh, oh, you, you just eat whatever you want. You, you look fine the way you are. You don't have to be healthy. You don't have to quit smoking. You don't have to exercise because they want women to be down. They want to, they want women to have a lower quality of life. Obviously, hashtag not all, but generally, this is a, this is a trend, and it's too broad to ignore. They do this where they'll be like, no, no, you don't have to take care of yourself. I can do that. They say, you know, don't wear makeup. You look fine just the way you are. Because they want these women to fucking feel bad about themselves. They want these women to feel bad about the way they look. And then they come in and they're like, oh, baby, I love you just the way you are. And it's this weird codependent relationship. Because if what you do, if you're a woman and you're in one of these fucking relationships, you just watch. If you, you know, get in shape and wear beautiful clothes and get your hair done and manicures and blah, 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 you take good care of yourself, as you should, no matter who you are. Take good care of yourself and you, your confidence, once it goes up, that person will fucking leave you because they are codependent. They need you to be down. They need you to be insecure because they, want, they get this uh, gratification and security out of comforting you because they know that that's going to make you stick around and you got to get out of these relationships like my mother was in a really abusive relationship for 16 years I went and lived in like a group home at like an orphanage sort of thing as a teenager because I couldn't take it it was shit and she just like I asked her as an adult like why did you stay in that relationship when you knew it was doing so much damage. And she just said, I thought it would get better. Never. Never, ever fucking take that attitude. You fix things now. And if they're not, like, you, every day you want to see, like, maybe 1% improvement. Like, whatever it is. Like, uh, you know, I want to want to eat healthy. You know, you make one little tiny change every day. Tiny steps. Because you don't focus on the goal. Like, you don't focus on, oh, when I get there, I'll be happy. No, 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 you focus on every day, every day, like every day. I'm going to get myself up and take a walk around the block every day. I'm going to put on face cream, blah, 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 exfoliate. You know, you do these things and your life will improve. But you don't focus on the goal. You don't focus on, oh, when I get there, when I am skinny, I will be happy. No, no, no. You just do little things every day and you will feel confident in yourself. And you have to feel secure in yourself. Even when, you know, you're going to have bad days. You're going to have stress, blah, blah, blah. Don't worry about it. Focus on the good things. But yeah, these kind of men who are very codependent and they want you to feel bad about yourself and they want you to they want you to think you're ugly. And that's why they do this. Like in, in those movies, they don't, you know, like, oh, you know, and, and they want Captain Marvel to be very masculine. They don't want any, they don't want Scarlett Johansson, you know, classical, feminine, elegant, gorgeous. No, they don't want that because they hate femininity because they feel threatened by it, the female feminists. And yeah, the male feminists as well. But yeah, it's, it's this horrible codependent relationship that male feminists and female feminists get into where the male feminists are constantly, subtly putting the female feminists down and saying like, you know, oh, I love you, you're, you're fine just the way you are. And it's like code for you're ugly. The rest of the world thinks you're ugly, but I think you're beautiful. Oh, the rest of the world thinks you're fat, but I think you're beautiful. You know, it's just a way of saying, don't, don't take care of yourself. Let me do that. And it's incredibly destructive. 
if you recognize that you're in a relationship like that, whether you're the one doing it or whether you're the one on the receiving end, and plenty of women do this too, it happens all around. It's it's just terrible. Just look up codependency on the internet. You'll find plenty of information. Get out of abusive relationships. Like I said, my mother would have been way better getting out of that relationship and just being like completely poor and a single mother and not having an abusive fucking partner. Around. Like, yeah, I agree 100% children need parents. They need a mother and a father. But you don't want an abusive partner around, whether it's male or female. Get out of that shit. Mm. And take care of yourself. You are important. You matter. There's only one of you. Take care of yourself.